Alrighty, let's talk about the front on. So, I actually haven't even watched this view yet. Okay, so again, that setup. One of the issues, I'll make this real clear. The first thing I talked about, you're grounding your club on the ground, right? So, your club, the ball's a couple inches off the ground. So, right now, your sweet spot is like right in there, right? So, it's a couple inches low of the ball. So, already, because of your setup, you know that you have to make a change by the time you hit the golf ball. You have to manipulate something during the course of the swing to get your club up two inches or so to even get to the height, you know, of the golf ball. So get that club up off the ground, watch Bubba Watson, and get your sweet spot, you know, on the golf ball. Have that thing up in the air. Um, the stance is way narrow right now. Your back foot right now, um, I think you should have it, like, right here. And what that's automatically going to do, the second you move your foot back there, it's going to make your shoulders have a little bit more tilt this way. I want your head more tilted over this way. I want your spine leaning over this way a little bit. Okay. And once that club's hovering, up, hovering off the ground, we're trying to hit this sucker up off the tee, right? And right now, the way you're hitting it, your ball's coming off pretty flat. Okay, I want this thing going, bam, off the tee. So, setup changes. Now, let's see, grip, totally fine. Um, now, when you're making these little tilt changes, um, your alignment, so just the way you're, you know, lined up on the ground, which way you're, aiming um your alignment's gonna shift your shoulders might get closed or something like that so even though you tilt your shoulders you still need to remain square to the target okay so that's something you kind of have to basically look in a mirror behind you and just make sure your your shoulders are square everything's square but you know that you've got these tilts right i want your neck more tilted and everything like that. Your foot will be back more. Club will be off the ground. Um, and then, let's keep going in the swing here. So, it was right about this point, right? We said you kind of just stop with your hips and you kind of just lift that knee, right? So, it's like right here your hips kind of they start rotating a little bit and everything's just real settled right but then you just stop and everything your arms keep trying to go around you but your hips kind of work more in a vertical or linear not vertical more back and forth or linear versus rotational so all we got to do super easy if you look at your left knee Okay, I want your left knee, I want your left leg to do all the same stuff that it's doing, except I want your left knee at this point, instead of being there, I want your left knee working over towards your right knee. And that's going to mean, uh, basically your left hip will be more like where your dong is right now. And your right hip will actually be starting to hide behind your body because you're spinning in a circle, right? So, if you get that, let's see, do, 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 left knee over, right hip, kind of, your right hip will feel like it's actually moving towards the target, okay? Or maybe even... I do like I do like your eye line right now. That's really good. The fact that you're like behind that golf ball. See that tells me you're trying to hit up on it a little bit, but there's just not enough. Okay. Um, and you can exaggerate the shit out of this, dude. I'd rather you stick your foot over here. I'd rather you be tilted like that. 
and just freaking hit this sucker up into the air. Okay. Um, and the way you're going to do that, you're going to feel like your head is, instead of being, you know, only this far behind the ball, your head's going to feel like it's over here. Okay. When you're swinging this thing. And... Setup's pretty damn good. Once you get all those tilts in there, however, um... Basically, we want your shaft to be pretty straight up and down here. So once you add these tilts, your hands are going to feel like they're more on your left pocket here. Okay. So right now, your hands are... You're setting up in a very... This is very common. You set up square, square, you know, square, square. Everything's in the middle. You got the shaft coming down the middle. Your, you know, shoulders square, hips square. That is not dynamic. That's not athletic. And especially when we're trying to hit a draw, trying to put curvature on the ball, uh, we need to have things set up in a in a way that is going to match up to the swing that creates that type of ball flight. So, gets up in the way I'm saying. Let's see. Let's move on in the swing. You're going to be much more rotated. Your left arm isn't going to feel like your left shoulder for sure and like right in here it's gonna feel so loose you're gonna feel like your hands can go instead of only going there you're gonna feel like you can reach your left arm out and get much more width your left hands will be able to or your hands will be able to reach much farther away from you you'll be able to make a much bigger circle in your swing instead of being this tiny little circle okay um, bunch more width, you'll have better uh, control of your diameter because your left arm won't break. I like how it's soft, but we got to let this left side release just to let this left shoulder release, to let these left hands get up here more, uh, just to, you know, get behind the ball more. And then once you do that stuff, I'm telling you, once you're at the top there, you're going to feel how you can hit up on the golf ball and come from the inside and actually create some sort of draw on it. So we won't, again, get into the rest because it's all going to change. So work on that crap, do some drills, do some exaggerations, and then film a couple more videos and send it over.